hello again. You're doing it. You're taking care of these exercises and you're just whipping through them. Thank you so much. So now we're into the exercises that accompany the online session around professionalism. So oftentimes we never even really consider who are we as professionals? What does that look like and how can we even become better? So that's why we're here, obviously. Read through this article that's listed in your handout and consider ways for you to be even more professional. When I envision a professional, I see someone who's self-confident, they're knowledgeable, they're skillful, um, they actually walk up with their business card in hand, and oftentimes professionals will ask, how can I help you? It's not about them, it's about you. Uh, I see professionals as being goal-oriented, that they complete their, those tasks, and that they're willing to admit to their mistakes. So these are just a few things. How would you describe a professional? There is a link associated with this handout, and you'll simply go on there and fill a survey out and answer, what does a professional look like? What do they say? How do they act? What are the characteristics of a professional? The language that they use, and equally important, even though you may not realize it, how do they present themselves on social media and in emails? And, and what's even more important about that is simply that it's written down and it's there forever, right? <laughs> so consider that. The next exercise in this topic is related to a biography and writing it. You'll be writing it in third person and we just wanted you to keep it short and sweet. Now typically, uh, but biographies are on websites and they're just short little paragraphs, but we really want for you to elaborate on that. We want you to look at yourself from this objective view as a professional. The handout line uh, outlines how to give a brief introduction, identifying your education and credentials. What notable achievements have you, do you have? And then a closing statement. There's some more tips on writing a biography, and I would like for you to choose, through intent, a great headshot. Oftentimes, when I look at websites or even LinkedIn, veterinary team members will have their, their profile with this much of the profile being uh, taken over by a dog or a cat. So remember that. When I go to a conference, and, and possibly I'm meeting people for the first time, I will often go onto their LinkedIn page or even the website at their veterinary hospital so I can take a look. And you know, photographs that have large, dark sunglasses definitely do not help me identify the professional I'm trying to meet. So keep all of this in mind when you're choosing that photograph. Further down in this handout is an example of my autobiography that includes an introduction, my credentials, uh, some of the achievements, and then this closing statement. So there you have it, an overview of the exercises related to professionalism. So I'm asking you to define a, a professional and create a short biography with an appropriate photo. I look forward to learning more about you in these exercises. Thank you so much and I'll be talking to you soon.